All right, guys, so today we're going to be building an arcade controller for retro gaming emulators. Now, you're probably wondering why am I going to build one when you can go to Amazon and all those websites and you can buy something for about 100 bucks, 120, and the overall price for this controller going to be about 100 bucks. Well, <clears throat> very simply put, is if you guys look at the reviews of every single one of those systems they have a lot of problems um, the parts are usually very cheap and on top of that they have a lot of lag what it means if you're playing a platform or anything you're gonna have about half a second some people say one second what I don't believe but like let me say half a second delay on the controls what it means you're gonna die. So for that I'm gonna be using a zero delay uh, controller and let's get to it. Alright so basically what do I have here? I bought this for about $40. Uh, now there's one issue with this case I'm gonna put all the parts I got in the descriptions below. Now one thing about this case as you see those buttons are 30 inch buttons but they're fine to work right here but the coin buttons and player buttons are about the same size what it means they will not fit in here now for that reason I had to buy those 24 millimeter um, buttons the only problem is I am waiting for the harness to be able to set this up on the controller. All right, so let's take a look. The case, fairly sturdy, not something you're going to see to break. That's pretty good. It doesn't really have too much give, but it's fine. Controllers, pretty solid. Those buttons, I'm not going to say they're the best, but they will work. To be honest, those, yeah, it's much more rewarding. So, but to one of the good things is this is very simple. Instead of having to do the whole harness in here, I can just put one of those directly in here and on the board so all right base stuff blue gonna go on the left and what you have to do in here it's very simple you take one of those screw it on pretty much done there's no secret to it just do that for all the other 12 now very careful you don't want to just lay this on the case for the main reason that you may shorten up uh, the circuits now this wasn't exactly made for this, so we're gonna have to play around with that. Pretty much just, just so you guys know, there's very few things you actually gonna be needing to use your iFix kit. And one of them gonna be put in the controllers. So alright, so this is set up. Next thing you need to do. Put this part and screw the top. Now it moves, it's fine. Feels good for smashing. Okay. Now 
And now you do for the other side as well. Now, while I don't have the harness yet, it's going to arrive tomorrow, um, I will set up those in their positions, so I just need to hook up then to the system afterwards. Now, just show you guys a trick. So this is really big. So what you guys have to do is you need to remove this. And you remove by pressing and twisting. And it comes out. Okay. Now, as you see, you have two levers. Right? So this makes a lot easier. And it clicks down here. Different than... Those other buttons that came with the joystick, that's pretty much like a keyboard. See? So now, those work fine for the game. If you guys want to make something more pro, probably with same vest and better buttons. Um, to be honest, the controller looks fine. Uh, I can always change that system, so not a big deal. Now the other thing you guys want to make sure, so this can kind of only go in one way. Um, if you guys are setting up for a PC, it's fine because you can configure the controllers. Okay, so the way I'm setting up is really to keep this closer to the buttons. What probably is the right way, but I can't attest. Now to put this back, you really have to insert and twist into place. If you notice you have a couple of grooves and just be careful because I hear about a lot of people that end up breaking some of the activation mechanism, so be careful on that. Now please remember what I said. This is metal. What it means, if this touches this, and you guys just lay down like this, it will be a really bad day for you guys. So just keep that in mind. This one, you see, has five. I mean, pretty self explanatory. That's gonna go in the controller. So you really cannot get it wrong, but you still try to pay attention. Alright, so I have four for this one and four with this one. So, plus I have two and two, so that's for calling. Also, this allows you to put 12 input. So, we're not using all that. Uh, we only have six buttons, so let's go to it. Now, you can probably take it apart, pull it apart, it's fine. I'm gonna try to keep as much as I can together. Makes more sense for me. Um, you probably will have to take slightly apart. So what you want to do is you want to start from the closest to the USB and down. All right. So now just separate a little bit. And plug on three of them. On four of them. It doesn't really matter since you're still going to have to set up the controller. Um, there are setups that allow you to actually use your Xbox controller without having to do any major setup. So the way I'm doing, I'm just gangstering it, okay? And pretty much do the same thing to the other controller. This simply goes from the back. And I probably will close a bit in here. It's a big door, but it's great because depending on what you want to set up for your system, it's going to work even better. You may need to work a little bit. On your cable management 
but that's for later. All right, so I plug one of them. Second one, what I'll do is I will plug in, but I am going to get inside. So I don't have so many cables flying around. Now just remember what I said. You need to be able to actually not allow your system to be touching metal. So I'm gonna have to play a little bit with that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use for now some double side tape until I found a better solution. Alright guys, so now we're going to configure the controller and test some games. Now what it does is it will open on MOM. So that's why I had to set up first in there. I just hoped it was going to run as I wanted. Oh, the start button is a problem. Oh my god! It works! Those controllers, um, I would probably upgrade something a little better. The buttons are fine, response is fine. Yeah, so I would say those controllers. Um, probably want something better they're a little too soft at least for some fighting games um, really up to you so yeah everything works I just need to fix a couple of details on the system uh, with the front end everything uh, set up the other emulators configure them to the controller also because Street Fighter, I really enjoy having punches on top and kicks on the bottom, so may have to work this out. But besides that, it works. Um, I'll later on set up the other controller, the other side, uh, just plug in. I just don't have enough USBs <laughs> to go around. But I hope you guys enjoyed. It's very simple to build. Uh, responsiveness, much better. I know a lot of the other games are going to fare just fine. So, um, yeah, I'll keep an update for you, for you guys. Alright? I hope you guys have a great weekend. Take care.